I have something to tell you. You're not gonna like it. Modern Farmhouse is dead, but here's what to do instead. I know this is a tough pill to swallow, but Modern Farmhouse is dead. We are so over it. So unless you have a new construction home in like Tennessee or Texas or some Southern state, we're over Modern Farmhouse. It's just, it's just done. If you're drawn to the Modern Farmhouse look, it's probably because you have traditional tastes. And I'm not gonna spite you for having traditional tastes. I think traditional can be absolutely gorgeous. But let me show you how to execute the look in 2021. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do more neutral, traditional, minimalist. I decided the best way to show you what I mean was to walk you through six things not to do and what to do instead, and also to take you shopping and show you in-person examples of everything I mean. Absolutely no word art. There's a reason that the word art is on clearance. This like farmhouse word art extreme is just so done. But what are your alternatives? Now, a great alternative if you love farmhouse is to do a floral print, something like this. We got this on Etsy, but I'm going to link some down in the description below that you can get on Amazon. And this very like champagne neutral frame is great for any style home. And I mean, when is this going to go out of style? So florals are great if you love that like more country look and that's why you're drawn to farmhouse. So check out something like this. Now, the other thing that I would suggest is landscapes. You can do painted landscapes, or what I have here is more of like a historic picture, but this I have in my bedroom. This is, you know, a scene from Italy, and it's in this classic matted gold frame with the black velvet mat. It is just absolutely gorgeous. This was in style the 90s. It's going to be in style forever in a more traditional theme home. I mean, come on, you guys, this is gorgeous. So if you wanted to do a landscape in a frame like this, it would just be gorgeous. Now, I found a really nice one on Amazon. Again, linking everything down in the description below. But check out landscapes. You can do more oil style landscapes. Think kind of like what Studio McGee does. Um, those are absolutely gorgeous. You can do them larger scale if you're looking for something bigger. They don't have to be small like this. Next thing to stay away from if you are getting rid of that farmhouse look in your aesthetic is anything galvanized metal. Galvanized metal screams farmhouse decor. And I mean, I'm not gonna say it again. Bye farmhouse, hello new look. So what do you do instead of galvanized metal accents when you're decorating a traditional home? Well, you're gonna go for more classic things. So think things like ginger jars, chinoiserie prints, you wanna do neutral potteries. I actually have a couple examples for you. This is actually a classic piece from 1912 that I actually picked up from a local estate sale. So you can get things like this at like a home goods or you can get them at, you know, flea markets, antique stores, all the kinds of places that you can get old and new stuff. But this is so much more classic than having some sort of like galvanized metal accent decor piece. If you're really drawn to metals and I get it, sort of that like metal accent can be very attractive. Go for classic pieces like silver. This is an antique china dish that you could use out and it's definitely kind of got that country vibe to it. So if you're interested in sort of that country look to farmhouse, there's no reason not to use accents like this, but you could also give this more of like a French or a British historical look to it rather than it having to be, you know, like American farmhouse. This is a very versatile piece. It's authentic, it is historic and I mean, silver, like real silver is never, ever going to be out. Our grandparents had this, our great grandparents had this kind of thing. So things like this are actually going to be an investment because they're always going to be in. But again, I got this at an estate sale for, I think, $12. By the way, guys, if you want my help on your space, I am offering design and consulting services, which I do have linked down in the description below. Just check it out and we can work together on your space. Joanna Gaines, the godmother of popularizing farmhouse in American home decor, can tell you what is the classic farmhouse home decor is shiplap walls. Now, again, in a place like Texas, where Joanna is designing, those things are actually historic nods to the builds there. So, of course, she can use that and that will always be in if your house has shiplap. But in new construction, in modern, you know, renovations and that kind of things, we're gonna say no more shiplap and no more barn doors because those scream, 
I'm trying to make something look like a modern farmhouse. So what are you going to do instead to keep this traditional look is you're just going to keep things very light, very bright, very neutral. And that is going to be your furnishings as well as your wall color. Go for whites, creams, light grays, just light and bright. If you are craving to add a little zhuzh to the party, I get you, I got you, I am too. And what I would suggest is just adding tons of molding. Think picture molding everywhere. It's a sort of nod to that French historic look. It's sexy, I get it. So if you're wanting like a little bit of an architectural flair, go for molding, don't go for shiplock because that screams 2017. Another trend that Joanna Gaines brought to us, to be honest with you, I never thought was cute. I never thought was classic. Like shiplap at least was like a historic nod to how houses were built in Texas. This, I'm not sure where we got it or why we got it. We are absolutely over using shutters as art. A large wooden shutter is not an art piece in your home. You have two options. One, go for a large scale art piece. Think of landscapes, think Studio McGee. She does these gorgeous landscape oil type paintings in a lot of her spaces. And those are just so neutral. I mean, again, this could never go out of style. You could have this for years and years and years and no one would ever look at that and be like, oh, look at that hideous thing. But then the second thing that you can do, which is very right now, but it's also a nod to the past and it's classic, it's not gonna go out of style anytime soon. However, in 20 years, it might feel dated, is going to be a floral wallpaper. This is almost like a little nod of 2020 back to the 90s of when we were doing floral wallpapers, but it's got a little bit more of a modern twist to it. Here, I'm gonna show you two examples, both actually by Studio McGee, of using wallpaper to make spaces that could actually potentially be considered like these farmhouse rustic spaces to be more modern. So with the blue floral and then the art on top of it, it looks very up to date. And that blue is such a great pop. And then in the bathroom, all the other fixtures in there could be this like rustic farmhouse type of space but they have made it so much more classic with the brushed metals and nothing that's gonna go out of style. And then this wallpaper like livens up the space, makes it a lot more fun even with its neutral palette. So definitely consider doing a floral wallpaper. And if you're nervous about the permanency of wallpaper, hello, it's 2021. By the way, have I been saying 2021 or 2020 this whole time? You guys know it's 2021, you know what I mean. But it's 2021, let's do a peel and stick wallpaper. I will link the video up above, but I just did a complete office refresh with peel and stick wallpaper that comes right off, goes right on, looks super high quality, and that was with Muse wallpaper. Highly recommend this, not sponsored, just really love that product. But if you guys wanna just like add that zhuzh to the wall, avoid doing a shutter and just do a fun wallpaper. Next, I wanna talk about a trend that I even fell victim to. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And I get the appeal because I love black and white, like, hello, look at my office, but it is barn lights. It's just that barn lights looked really good and modern for if you were doing a farmhouse. And again, if you have this new construction, Texas modern farmhouse, I'm not going to tell you not to do it because I think it's a great way to do modern farmhouse. But if you have this like classic traditional home that you're trying to make look very 2021, those barn house lights just scream, I'm trying to make my house look like a modern farmhouse rather than like classic, traditional, gorgeous, but refreshed in 2021. So what I'm gonna tell you to do instead of that is to go for classic sconces in either like a brush gold or a silver. I'm including some linked down in the description below. They're also on my mood board Monday this week. So these clean line sconces with the beautiful shades, it's just, not something you're ever going to regret in terms of a design decision. Whereas something like a barn house light is just going to look over after a certain period of time. Here I wanted to show you some examples of modern farmhouse gone wrong. Now you can see that they did a couple things just like classically wrong with modern farmhouse that just doesn't look high end. It doesn't look refined and it's looking a little outdated now. So the word art is just so cheesy and why are there so many? Then we have like this metal and wood shelf. They didn't even go for like the pipe industrial. I feel like they went a little bit cheaper, like 
I don't even want to say it, but just a little bit cheaper version of the shelf of the wood and the metal. Oh, and then of course they included a galvanized metal accent of this box that they found at, you know, the local home decor shop. They were like, you know what's farmhouse? Let's throw that in there as well. Here I was able to show you the difference between a modern farmhouse and then how Studio McGee did it with that beautiful wallpaper. Do you guys see the difference of having this word art and then the galvanized metal and wood accents versus doing this gorgeous wallpaper, very neutral tones, something that does scream country home, but it doesn't say 2017. It screams more classic. I can't imagine that this is ever gonna go out of style. Guys, those are the six things to avoid if you don't wanna do modern farmhouse and if you wanna get more of this traditional, transitional, modern, minimalistic 2021 look. You're gonna bring out those classics. It's gonna look great for years to come and it's just gonna look refreshed. So do those six things, don't do the other six things and I'll chat with you later, bye.